What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Say welcome back <clears throat> to another video with your boy Richard Richard. Today in this video, um I am going to be <coughs> Yeah. I'm gonna be playing some Need for Speed Payback 2017. Now I decided to go with Need for Speed. I figured it would be kind of cool to do so. Um, I just done the, the video on um, Forza Motorsport 5 20, 2013. Uh, did a little bit of it, but yeah, it was cool. Now my need for speed payback um, 2013 at, at the Airfield 73 Desert. In Las Vegas, actually. So when I first started, I thought I thought I was in either Arizona or California because it kind of looks like a California desert almost. But I did some research one time, a very, very, very long time ago, and it turns out that this was actually Arizona. Not, oh, on, not Arizona, no, no. It was actually Las Vegas. <coughs> Las Vegas, actually, which got me a little bit baffled and confused and, on, and all that stuff because you know I've always been obsessed with California and uh yeah I got a little bit confused but oh well same yards <coughs> yeah, I just realized just now what are we strength this car was supposed to have a six-speed dual clutch gearbox but now I just went fast over that jump at 220 miles an hour and it's got a seven-speed gearbox what? Like, how? Like, how is that possible for, for like a twelve-year-old car, to have that and like another gear? That is just weird. Like, I didn't expect that, but oh well. The GTR has a a six speed dual clutch gearbox, not a seven speed. Well, it would be better for a seven speed, but they decided to go with the old fashioned six speed, which is cool. I've always been into six speed manual gearboxes. Yeah, automatics, not really. Simply because they weigh much more than their manual counter counterparts. <clears throat> so I've decided, you know, to give manual. Uh, a good chance, but you know, I'll stick with I'll stick with manual. But you know, I'll give I'll give <coughs> I will give automatics a chance. I'll let <coughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go all the way to the start and um, <coughs> sorry, I'm just trying to. Like, trying to get, get grips of the control system. I haven't played Payback for a very long time, so I apologize. <sighs> just, uh, I've been busy with the work and everything else. It's just nuts. It's just killing me and all that stuff. But, you know, <coughs> what's killing me the most is my health condition. Well,. What I mean by conditions, like, you know, look how I am right now, like, the cold I'm trying to get rid of is just an, an absolute freaking colossal nightmare. Because I've been coughing for over a month, or even worse, two months. <clears throat> this is ridiculous. Honestly, like, with this condition, there's no way in hell I'm going to get better. Well, I can't really say that, because you never know if it will happen. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, anyway, like, the cough is just getting worse and worse and worse. <sighs> like, uh, there's no way, like, at this rate, there's no way I'm gonna get better. No way. It's like, I'm gonna stick with this for the rest of my life. And God, no. But, you know, I will get rid of it eventually. 
don't worry, I will get rid of it somehow, just don't know when, but... <coughs> At some point, I will try and get rid of it. <coughs> yeah. Literally, it is just not getting good for me at all. Nothing is really. Work has been a pain in the backside, but at least I've, I've been getting paid. You know, paying uh, rent recently, forcing clothes. It's not bad, but uh, it, it, it has to be done. You know, I gotta do what is right. Gotta do what I gotta do. Um, yeah, I've gotta do what I've gotta do. Because, you know, I'm growing up. Life is starting, starting for me. <clears throat> life has officially, life has officially started for me. You know, <clears throat> so I'm no longer a little kid anymore. I'm a full-grown adult, which I am, a young adult, full-grown man. And um, paying rent is the most important thing I've got to do in life. Everybody has to pay rent. <clears throat> And the bills, you can, those are important as well, you know. Gas bills, electrical bills, heating bills, and whatnot. It's all important because the people have to do what is right for them and for the other people as well. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, I have to do what's right in order to, like, make things better and all that stuff. So yeah. <coughs> it's all pretty important that it has to be done. It's like very important important to uh, have the bills paid and everything. Because once it's all paid, everything will be fine. Literally. It will all be just fine. It will all be fine. Oh. oh my god, what did I do? No, damn it, I... Damn it, I went on to this Bewick. GNX. As my starting car. Or my starting card that I've got. No, I don't want that. I mean, I like Buick, but it's a bit, but it's actually too much for me to handle. I keep selling this thing, and it's not, and it just keeps coming back all the time. I think that happens unless you get an extra car in your garage. I don't know. But I think it is. I don't know. I don't know. But... Keeps returning. <coughs> There's no getting rid of that car. Like nothing at all. Like nothing at all. That's not believable. In general, I don't believe it at all. It's torturing me to pieces with this car. Not the GTR, because GTR is the GTR is good. Is a good car. It's just that Buick is just killing me to death with this. <clears throat> Boom, I went over its actual top speed like 290, not 290, I wish it was 293, but whatever, 193 miles an hour. What is the nice thing about this thing? Very 7. Break and then turn. It was, I did a little bit terrible, but it was something. It was exactly how it was in the movie. <clears throat> All right, got the turbo done, and we're good for power um, response to the brakes. All right, next up on the agenda is to change a car right now. What I mean by that is to get a new car. So the car I've been wanting to get 
which I've been dying to get my hands on, is an S Jasmine actually. So, uh, you're probably wondering what card is this will be. <coughs> um, so the card I've been wanting to get is a Sylvie. And um, I wanted to modify it somehow. Um, because I've not been driving Sylvie's for a very incredibly long time because I've been driving more faster supercars like Land Royals, Ferraris, uh, Ford GTs, GTRs even. Uh, what else? Uh, Pagani's, like the Huayras, you know. I got Eros Turbo spooling like crazy. Like, it's brilliant. But, you know, I think it's time for <gasps> time for a change. Oh, no, my, uh, oh, I can't even. Can't even say what I, and I even almost hit a car. No, I. Oh, you maniac. Look at it. He made me damage my number plate. Didn't have that in this game. Alright, I gotta repair the car. Come on. There you go. Alright, I'm gonna do a speed test now. Oh, <clears throat> speed trap. Come on. I just got the car repaired and immediately it just Oh my god, this is a ridiculous torture. I'm gonna have to reset this. I'll just go back and start the speed thing over again. And who was that? Oh, wow, well, I knew it was gonna be him. I always challenge this guy at the time. Really, I get this feeling that whenever I'm driving, it literally looks like I'm driving in LA right now, in California. But this is actually Las Vegas, which is pretty cool. I'm not, I know why Las, Las Vegas is pretty damn cool. But, you know, I've always been more into California, because, you know, specifically Los Angeles. Like, I always have been a fan of LA ever since Fast and Furious was out. I immediately was a huge fan of Los Angeles. So, like, <clears throat> I mean, I wasn't really a huge fan until, like, uh, when I was, I was 17 years old, I think. I can't remember, but it was such a long time ago. Like, <clears throat> well, I've always wanted to go to America. Like, ever since I was growing up, I've been planning and planning and planning for weeks. Yes. She said she's gonna kick his ass. Sorry about that, but it was true, but really like <clears throat> every time I race like or like you know do driving in this game, I always get these messages all the time. <coughs> okay, so let's head to uh a drift dealership because there is one specific car I've always been wanting to get. Now, I think I mentioned this to you guys. It's an S chassis, I think I mentioned. I don't know. But yeah, I will give you guys a clue. It is an S chassis, and they have it in this game somewhere. I don't know when. Like, I don't know where. Well, you know what I'm going to say. I don't know where, but I spent. Yeah. It has it here. Oh, there it is. I can see it. No, not this one. The Nissan 180SX Type X, which is a really good car. It's this. The early 2000 Nissan Silvia Spec R Aero. So for all the S chassis fans out there, I'm going to impress you all with this car. So 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way back to the garage. All right, the house has gone with it. Silver Rock Street Racing Scene is back. So yeah, Silver Rock Street Racing Scene is back. Thumbs up for that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to sell. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to sell my RK5. I know it breaks my heart, but it has to, like, it has to be how it is. I mean, it is what it is. It has to be done. I mean, after all, it will take a while to just sell the Buick. But I decided to sell the R34. Not R34, sorry. R35. R35. Because it's a lot faster to get a lot of money instead of having to keep selling this Buick all the time. Which I do like, but you know, it always just gets in my nerve. I mean, like, well, not even, but it gets on my nerves all the time because you know I always get this car all the time back in my garage. <clears throat> they all this in Las, in Las Vegas and Nevada, which I t I did talk about the driving laws from Las Vegas before. It was pretty cool. Considering I even talked about some more cars and all that stuff. Now, like, a lot of people are wondering why you got back to YouTube and you have not ended it. Um, I've, I've been getting, like, some of these messages from, like, <clears throat> from my friends as well. Like, ask, like, they're asking me why you, like, haven't, I thought ending it. Like, what happened? Um... Reason being is because I got a lot of change of plans. Like, sometimes I, like, <coughs> would want to do it, then I just want to end it. But then, when I end it, like, I end it at the wrong exact time. Like, I end it at the wrong time. <coughs> and I realized that there's a lot more other cars. I missed them by a mile. Well, a few inches from the scratch, I think. But what, what I'm saying is, like, I'm not, like, of paint scratching lines or whatever. Um, well, like, the reason being is because there's a lot of cool cars I've been wanting to talk about for a long time, and like, <clears throat> I just know, I get this feeling that, that it makes me want to end it, and then after that, it makes me want to go back. So I get this kind of, like, combination, like, half of it. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Like, 50% wants me to finish. Then 50% wants me to, uh, get back to doing it. I just don't know why, but it, I get this feeling that it makes me want to do this. And this is the car I am talking about. So all you S. Jassy fans out there, welcome to the early 2000s, well, 2001, I think. Nissan Silvia Spec R. Aero. Now this is the car I've been wanting and dying to test out for a long, 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 incredibly long time. And now I have finally got my hands on this car and I'm driving it right now. So this was a car I've always wanted to get because I wanted to impress all the S chassis fans out there. So what I'm going to do with this car is pretty simple what i'm gonna do is first i'm gonna start off with <coughs> with the uh, exterior modifications i'm gonna leave the performance parts for last so what i'm gonna do in, and yeah it's got less horsepower than the buick but it's got a higher top speed than the buick so what i'm gonna do is i am going to be making this car look more better so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna install a what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a um Garage, a full um, upgrade to this car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install a body kit. Um, I'm going to install a Garage Mac body kit, which includes the fenders. Yeah, I know it is a bit screwed up with like removing this because it is an old game, <clears throat> around like seven years old. Yeah, it's just because it, it is a bit laggy. It does tend to do that. And when you click on it, it just gets normal. But... <coughs> <coughs> yeah, 
I don't do that. It is a bit slow. In terms of like moving to the different icons of what you want to upgrade for this. What? Exhaust. Oh yeah, I need an exhaust. I'm going to get a garage neck exhaust. Alright. Hopefully this will work. Yeah, it, it, it is laggy. I apologize for this, but you know, it is how it is. It's an old game. And the garage back. Right, right there. Alright. What do we got for the wing? Oh, it actually is pretty fast for the wing. <clears throat> and there's no um, sound system. But we got a rigor fuser with it. This is just genius. <coughs> Alright, done uh, a lot of this stuff. Right, I'm gonna do the mirrors as well. And last up, uh, but certainly not least, I'm gonna do a little bit of the canard. Look at those canards, those are huge as hell. Jeez. And I'll do also the front splitter all the way from Garage Mock. Or Garage Mac, whatever you call it. Look at the fenders on this. Like, I've seen a bunch of cars with cool fenders, but this? Look at that. Look at it. It's tanks and turning levels. Like, I apologize for the wheels. I've got to change those up. But just look at this. This car is just damn right awesome. I ain't gonna lie. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> uh, I really like this car. I can even see a little bit of the inside of the engine. I go to the Look at the inside. You can barely see the back and, and like the <coughs> engine components and whatnot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change out the <coughs> brakes to brindle. So then the calipers now the rotors. Which I'm gonna leave standard because we got those cool lines on there, so I'm gonna leave those as stock. <coughs> You guys are probably wondering, how did you get the rims? Basically what I did is I traded in a bunch of parts to get the wheels. Okay, so for the wheels, I'm going to choose... <clears throat> I'm going to go with Warsteiner rims. I'm going to go with the first ones right here. These are awesome. And I'm going to make these wheels chrome. Because you know what chrome is just literally awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna go with primary paint, and uh, we're gonna go with chrome. Metallic does look good, but chrome simply stands out. Secondary color as well. <clears throat> Actually, we're gonna go with standard uh, preset. Let's. Let's go with the metallic, it was actually cool. And now, we'll do the same for the rear. <clears throat> Secondary metallic, uh, metallic, there we go, can I say that? Then at the back, chrome, for primary, chrome, and then yeah, we'll say that'll be it. <coughs> <coughs> now the color. This is gonna like... Could be a little bit challenging because there's a lot of colors I would want to do. Like, you know, like yellow, but you know, at the same time, I would want to go with something that's quite cool. And it will stand out a lot. So, uh, what does white look like on this part? It does look good. Yellow, it is alright. You know what? I'm still gonna stick with yellow. I mean, I will change up a little bit. This reminds me of the Pennzoil advertisement because you know, for Pennzoil, they actually have like different kind of cars. 
with the same exact yellow paint scheme. Like, you know, for... <clears throat> there's so many cars for this, for that Penzo advertisement, you know. The BMW M4, the Dodge Challenger SRT Demon, the Viper ACR, the latest one from 2017, and now with the last year that they made the Viper, then they had the Ferrari 488 GTD, the M8, <clears throat> so many, so many different cars. God, this SR20 sounds awesome. Let's see how it drifts. <clears throat> yeah, it does drift okay. It does drift, it does drift good, but the power on this car. <coughs> Sorry. Not much. I mean, 250 horsepower. Whoa! I mean, literally, like, 200 and 47 horsepower. 0 to 60 in 5.4 yeah, seconds. Top speed, 165. Yeah, it doesn't sound as much as I expect, but, you know, I will get that fixed yeah, eventually. Don't worry, I will get that sorted out in no time at all. Depends on what up oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it depends on what upgrades I get. For a good price, because upgrades these days cost so much, and that was enough upgrades for this. I'm gonna trade some parts in, and uh, yeah, so that's good. Just the exhaust. So I got 292 horsepower, zero to 60, 4.4 seconds. So 292 horsepower, <clears throat> zero to zero to 60. So 0 to 60 in 4.4 seconds. Top speed 175 miles an hour. Quarter mile time of nearly <coughs> 13 seconds. Well, 12.97 seconds. So 12.97 seconds approximately. And it, it's a little bit faster than before, but I would reckon I would want to get this car a lot faster. So the target for power is um, I mean 400 horsepower is good. And 450 as well, but the main one I want to get to is 500 horsepower. So around there, something would be a pretty good option. You know, a little bit below 500, like 495, I would say. I mean, it'll be enough. I'll I'll be okay with that. So maybe I'm thinking a 500 horses, 500 horsepower would be good <coughs> for a car like this. So yeah, I'll go with that. <coughs> <coughs> All right, so let's, oh, I'm going to have to go back to the garage and sell the parts. I mean, I don't know, I don't know, I could have drove, drove there, but, you know, it's just going to, uh, just kind of waste my time, you know, going through the traffic and all that stuff. And with a car, this a little bit slow, but it's still good looking. It's just, <clears throat> I have to have no choice for this at all. And for this, I'm actually going to do some decals to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the decals from one of the cars. Because one of the cars I've got have decals to it. Which is, uh, the car I'm going to do it is, uh, is the, uh, where is it? There it is. The 350Z. What are the colors on these? Well, decals. So yeah, I did do some decals to it, but you know, I think it's time I start to, uh, let's do it in a different color. Let's go with, I'm going to do it in gloss, well, not gloss, but chrome. <clears throat> and for the decals, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to go with some sponsorships. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for some cool sponsorships that I can go with. Something cool. 
let's use let's go with the first one i got a rocket bunny we'll put it right in the middle actually wait right about there perfect rb copy to the other side perfect that was genius so instead of having to do it again for uh yeah for uh for the same spot, I could just literally hit RB and we'll just literally go on there. So I got a full seamless body kit. <coughs> and, um. And, um. I want to see if there is, like, any Sea West, um, decals to it. They even got like, um, I want to do like some more decals, like Sea West and like, what else? War Spider, there we go. Um, if they, I want to see if they got it first of all. <coughs> So C West and oh yeah, perfect. They got C West on there, and we'll put it right up. Whoa, this thing is huge. I'm gonna have to. I'll put it right over here. And uh, copy to the other side. And so we got a C West body kit. <coughs> well, not body kit. Sorry. Well, same. Well, I'll just do rocket button C West. What's the difference? <coughs> Next one I'm gonna do is for the wheels. I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do voice diamonds first. I'm gonna see if they have it there, and then I'll do. Uh, oh, before I do voice diamond, I'm gonna do another one. Greddy, there we go. Whoa. Scale this and put it right about uh, here, and we'll just copy that to the other side. Next one I'm gonna do is um, we're going to see West Rocket Bunny Gritty. Uh, God, where the hell is it? It should be somewhere here. It's either that or they don't really have it. I don't really know, but... Uh, unless... It's here. Check out for some more decals if they got anything else. No, nope. at least they have some need for speed on there. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do uh, well, they got some countries right here, but like, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do another one. So, I'm gonna do uh, one for EA and then for Ghost as well. So, I'm gonna do EA first. EA Sports, it's in the game. And so, uh, Copy to the other side, and last one we'll do is Ghost. See if it'll fit. Perfect. And we'll copy this as well. Let's see how this looks. Genius. That's perfect. It's better than having to like move it at the right direction. So the best way to do it is to push the decals where you want it, then press RB or or any other button. It will depend on what you're playing on, like Xbox. PlayStation, whatever. Uh, for Xbox, you just hit RB and it will stay at the exact spot you want it on. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And we'll leave it like that. <laughs>
perfect. What do you guys think of this? Is it cool? What do you guys think of this? Is it cool? Comment down below what you guys think. So comment down below what you guys think of this um, car. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get rid of some of these because you know <coughs> I have almost like I'm running out of space. I got a few more to do, and then after that, it will all be full with the files for the decals because you can only hold up to 50 files. Well, 50 saved changes to it. Because like it would have like for example if you got the same car on there, or like a, for example same color, and you save it and then you just put and you use the same car but you put decals to it, it's gonna add another picture to it with the same car but a few differences to it like you know with decals and whatnot. That's how it works in this game. It can only hold up to fifty files and that's just it. There we go. That was a lot faster than before. Almost through like 300 horsepower. It's a pretty good amount. Alright. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna start off. Yeah, just do this one and then that will. That way, hold on. I'll do the gearbox. Just to get better air time and like landing to it as well. And get it like to over four or 500 horsepower, which would be good. That's the target, because that's the target I'm aiming for. I mean, like, <coughs> 350, like, 300 horsepower is good, but I just have to go a little bit more power to it. In the car this light, I mean, like, 1,200 kilos, roughly? I don't, like, I think, I don't really know how much does an S15 weigh standard, but with the body kit it has right now, I believe it's gonna add some drag to it and some extra weight because body kits do body kits these days they add a lot of weight. It will depend on which body kit you get, and it will depend on what materials it will be used, like with like made with for example. Because some body kits, like for example, would be would be made with like fiberglass or anything like that. It will depend on what body kit for what car you would get it with. Like either go with the kit or you just buy it separately. Simple as that. Or if you already got the kit, that's fine. <clears throat> sure, I really love this car. I mean, I've always loved the S15 Sylvia. <coughs> and this was the last Sylvia they actually made from the early 2000s, this first one. And if I had to pick uh, a Sylvia, the main one I would go with is definitely, um, it's definitely gotta be the S15. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the turbo, and I'm gonna do, uh, either the gearbox or the engine. I don't really know what, but, you know, this turbo just adds a bit more power. Not a lot, but it's still good. Uh, let's do, um, let's do, that's the engine block. Could have been ACU, but whatever. Bigger block means bigger engine and better power. For the nitrous, what do we got? Oh, perfect. I'll take it. 300 horsepower, that's good. Look at <coughs> Look at the nitrous on this one though. <coughs> Higher than before. Genius. I love this. I love this car. You know what? Sorry. You know what? I figured, you know, if I had to get a JDM car, I'm thinking like... I'll hold on to the skyline for another day. And um for my next for well, I don't even have a car at the moment, but I'm still doing my theory test. But when I pass my theory test, I will get my first car, which will not be what I expect, but it will be better than nothing at least. You said it. Um 
I'm thinking, you know, to hold on to, like, Skylines and Supers for another day and get myself a Sylvia, because, you know, they're always fun, you know, Sylvia's these days are just brilliant. <clears throat> like, I've always been a huge fan of Sylvia's, especially this one. <clears throat> You know what? That is causing a little bit of trouble. Let's do some donuts. There's no police anyway. But it will be in events, so... Wait, wait. Um. <coughs> let's go all the way around and do donuts. Yeah, now that's what I'm talking about. And Moss as well. Makes the car do a lot more donuts faster. Sure, you're willing to this. <clears throat> I mean, I would want to do a, I would, would have done a bait crate, but you know, with this car, I don't think it would be a good idea because the 300 horsepower is not really enough to lose the cops. Because you know, like police stays in this game, they have huge four, five hundred, like four, five hundred horsepower monsters. <clears throat> Sometimes a lot more than that, but it would depend on what car they would really have for police in, for police chases like he, like these. Because these days they drive from Chargers and Corvettes, <coughs> <coughs> similar to the Corvette that was used for most wanted, Sergeant Cross's <coughs> Corvette. They actually use the. the C7 for that, the latest one. So, from 2014 for this version of the game for 2017. And they even use some new cars for this. They use like the new 2017 Ford GT, which was the last ever car made for the Ford GT. And that was just it. Personal best was like 16,000. Then a drift car. Piece of cake. You know, piece of cake. That could have done better, but oh, whatever. Almost 16,000 was good. Alright. I will head back to the, um, the garage. Oh, hell. I missed my turn. Yep, no scratches to it. That's good. That's perfect. Whoops. I meant to beep at them, but I hit on the right, on the bottom right D pad, and it had, it was like the picture on there. Like, whoops. <sighs> Come on. Okay. I'm not gonna do a speed trap because I know it's just gonna take forever. Actually, you know what? Screw it, I'm gonna do it. God, this SR20 does sound awesome. It was naturally aspirated, but it's pretty much like turbocharged, I think. <clears throat> so if I had to get a Sylvia, I would get an S15, and the main upgrades I would want to do are like. <clears throat> it's a pretty cosmetic best race, like... There's some cosmetic upgrades, like, I don't know, like, air filters, turbos, intercoolers, exhaust, so yeah. I would want to do, like, uh, air intakes, turbos, well, just one turbo, because I'll just do single turbo anyway. <clears throat> so yeah, I'll do air intake, turbo, Exhaust, intercooler, um, brakes, so brakes, suspension, <clears throat> etc. So yeah, brakes, suspension, air intakes, turbos, exhaust, intercoolers, camshafts, cam gears, presumably, and presumably oil cooler kits as well. Just don't know what, but at some point I will uh, I'll figure out what I can do, and it will be worth it. 
All right, <clears throat> so let's take a look at this card before I end it there. So 315 horsepower, I got 0 to 60, 4.2 seconds, top speed almost 180 miles an hour. That's supercar territory, that's good. Quarter mile, 12.5 seconds, that's good. It's the same capacity, well, 5.6 for, uh, for the boost and the landing as well. So yeah. Um, so yeah, that's gonna end it for today. Uh, if you guys, if you guys like, <clears throat> if you guys like this video, like and subscribe. Comment down below what you guys think. Hit that notification bell and hit all so you are alerted of when I make new uploads. All right. <clears throat> so that's gonna end it there. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. But until then, stay safe. Say so yeah, But until then, stay safe. Have a great day, <clears throat> and I'll see you guys soon in the next video. So yeah, until then, stay safe. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys soon. In the, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care, folks. Peace.